Hello, Paul Gabriel here for another Ask ZBrush video. So we had the question sent in to us, what is or isn't saved in a .zpr or .ztl file? So the ZPR is referring to our projects in ZBrush and our ZTL is referring to our tools. So I put together a little comparison chart here showing the difference between what's saved in a tool and what's saved in a project. So the obviously the left side here is the tools and here's the projects. Okay, so to start, um, what's saved in both is we have the mesh, all subtools, which also refer to any subtools that have polypaint, any subtools that have texture displacement or normal maps. So where I'm referring to is right in the tool palette, you have a texture map, displacement map, and normal map menu. So for this particular mesh or tool, uh, I have eight subtools. I have his body selected right now. And in the texture map, if there was a texture right here in this larger icon, same thing for my displacement and same thing for a normal map. If there are maps actually in here, that would get saved with the tool and also save with your project. All right, so moving along, we also save any polygrouping that's been done on any of the subtools. And we also save any of the creasing that's been done in any subtools. And then another is any default material assigned to any subtools. So this is important to understand because there is something else a project can do with materials that a tool cannot do. Right? So going back into ZBrush, so what I mean by default is when I click on this larger icon of materials, the materials you're seeing here right now are the default materials that get shipped with ZBrush. So if I was to assign any of these materials to the mesh that we have currently selected, if I was to save out a tool, when I go load that tool again in another session, those materials would still be assigned correct to the mesh. This of course works with projects as well, but later on here in a little bit we're going to show you a different avenue that you can have materials and that would be saving out in a project. Okay, so let's get into some differences between now a project and a tool. So some two major ones is the tool remains in edit mode for projects and also the position it is to the camera is also saved in the project. So what I mean by that is let's, let's reorganize him. Let's put him maybe a little close up. So let's say I'm working and I want to save out a project now. So all I have to do is go to file and hit save as and you can see the shortcut to that is also control s so we're just going to hit save as we'll save that here's my name of my project we'll go ahead and hit save all right and to save a tool i'm going to go over here to the tool palette and i'm going to save as here and i'm just going to call this earthquake and that's a tool and hit save so now i want to totally start fresh with zbrush so what i'm going to do is just going to go in my preferences and i'm going to hit initialize zbrush and I'm going to tell ZBrush to go ahead and fully initialize. So what that's going to do is going to take everything out of, out of mode and start ZBrush fresh as if it's just been opened. You can see in the tool palette we have the simple brush selected. So let's see what happens when I load a tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click load tool. There's our earthquake model. I hit open. So I want you to notice that he comes back in. We've got our eight sub tools, but he's not in the camera or in the document and he's not in edit mode so we got to draw him back out we got to hit T or click on the edit button to put him in edit mode and then there we have him also notice there's probably some lighting change here because if we go back to our little comparison projects also save all render settings and light and lighting settings so let's look at now if I want to load a project so I can go to the file menu and hit open, which again the shortcut to that is control O. So I'm going to hit O. It's asking me now do I want to make any saves to the project I've been working on. I'm going to say no. And then there's our project and I'm going to say open. And notice that the document color was saved. Notice that how close I had him to the camera is saved. Notice, see there's various lighting differences here. So in this particular scene, I've added a secondary light, which is a rim light, and it's giving me that blue light. So that's saved with my project as, as well. 
also all the render settings are saved so when I am going to start rendering things out and I start turning on my render properties you can see that there's shadows and SSS and wax preview have been turned on along with if I go to the BPR shadow settings all of this is being saved to what I've set it to as a user so those are some pretty big differences between saving a project and saving a tool there are a couple other things that are saving with a project that aren't saving with a tool so are any keyframes we put in our timeline all the undo history is being saved in projects okay all tools at the time of saving are saved that's what I mean by that in the tool palette right now the only tool I have loaded if I click on this large icon is just the earthquake tool now if I was to load other tools here so I go to my tool tab and say oh, let's load the dog let's also load the demo soldier so now currently in the tool palette I have the demo soldier loaded the dog loaded and our earthquake model loaded so now if I was to save this model and we'll just call this earthquake 2 okay and it's saving our project let's go ahead and initialize ZBrush again would you like to fully initialize yes okay and let's load and I'm gonna use the shortcut control O to load this project and so you can see when I load this project back I still have all my lighting notice the position of him still this is the same from when I saved him out but notice also the dog and the demo soldier come with the project this would not happen with the tool the only thing that would come would be him when you hit this save as button and none of the lighting changes would be there and none of the render settings that we have here would be saved with the tool the last thing which I was speaking to earlier in the video is materials so as a user you're able to assign any material that comes shipped with ZBrush however there are many users building their own materials and you want to be able to load those materials in so this is why we have a load button right here and we have a library that's on pixelogic.com that is our madcap library so let me show you that library so you can see the various materials that are available so here we are at pixelogic.com and what I want to do is go to where I can download materials okay so we're gonna to go to our support we're gonna to go to our download center then right here there is a matcap library and then there are various types of materials so let's say maybe I'm looking for something that's metal I click on this and then a library of materials pop up and then clicking on any of these materials I'm gonna see a preview image of what these materials would look like on a model and of course on a sphere so I can download any of these materials and load them into ZBrush so when I just load them in the ZBrush they're not actually being saved within the material palette however if I assign any of the material that I'm loading into ZBrush to any subtool in a project even though that material wasn't saved with the UI it'll still be loaded when I go open another project so that's one of the also big differences in saving a project from a tool so again the default materials are just what you see which shipped with ZBrush if I'm just only loading a tool and I'm not saving that or I'm sorry I'm loading a material and I'm not saving the material so it will always pull up in my UI a project will allow that to be saved but a tool will not and that's your major difference is be saving between a project and a tool thank you for watching and please continue to send your questions to our Twitter feed using hashtag ask zbrush have a great day and a happy zbrushing